You can see with the extra counterweight on, we have about four or five inches of overhang. Without the extra counterweight, we're not exactly zero, we're about two inches of overhang, but it is really a sort of pretty much a true compact radius machine. You also see on this machine that the track is a little bit different. The four ton machine only has a steel track or a rubber belt. Rubber belt is 90% of the uh, uh, application in North America. And on the five ton machine, you can get steel track or rubber belt or steel track with rubber pad, where you get the best of both worlds. And when you have this type of combination as well, you're also adding more weight low down. So you increase the stability without the extra counterweight. The extra counterweight on this machine truly is gonna be an option because most people want that sort of near zero tail swing on the machine and that's what we're gonna to go to market with. However, if you're gonna put some heavy tools on it, like that TRS system, that TRS-6 does go on our 305, you're probably gonna put this extra counterweight on because you're putting some heavy configs out there on the machine. Then you look up at the cabs. They're exactly the same cab. They're also very, very similar to the cabs on our six to 10 ton machine. So once again, that commonality, if you stand here and look at it, it is actually the same cab from this point onwards, the six to 10, all you got is a little bit more cab at the back here. So a little bit more volume, but everything is else exactly the same. Both machines have the angle blade on it, uh, like we said before, and I will just open up this door, three points of contact, I'm going to turn that key on just for a moment. The rest of the machine as you go around, panels are very similar, they're not exactly because obviously that's a reduced radius machine, this is a compact radius machine, but as that boot up, that's actually got our advanced, next gen advanced monitor in it, touch screen. It gets even easier to use. Hey, it's a great monitor in that machine, but it's not exactly going from a flip phone to a smartphone, but Look at the camera on that machine for those who can see up there in the cab. I mean, high definition camera for that safety aspect of the machine. Both of them do have a camera. This one just the monitor gets bigger, the picture gets brighter, and how you use it, the logic is the same, but it's just easy to use because of the way you navigate it with touchscreen. Why? Because everybody now expects to pick up an app or an iPhone and touch it. So we've obviously got that as an option on these machines as well.